Yo, 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 it's your boy Swag. Today I'll be talking about how it was when it was, when it was structured in Chicago in the area where um, the famous rappers come from. Uh, King Von, Chief Keith, LPG Duck, then your um, 051 Driller, you know what I'm saying? So back in the day, you know, it was structured. So structure means you couldn't do nothing out of order unless you got it from a higher up. And the higher up would be like your first D's, um, you know, like governors, which is almost like the same thing. And um, you had to go report that shit. If you didn't get, if you didn't report that shit, you can get a violation, which means you might get a mouth shot, might get a ten minute no cover. You know what I'm saying? You never know what might happen. You know what I'm saying? Guess who gonna beat your ass? Your own guys gonna beat your ass. But if you do something fucked up, they gonna send them niggas that ain't from your hood and they gonna fuck you up. So a lot of things was different back then. Um, a lot of a lot of people um that's joining in or if you're not a regular. So I grew up in Parkway Gardens, which is Oak Block. My grandmother stayed on Front Street, you know what I'm saying? That's like majority of my childhood since I've been like five or six. It's always been in that area. So um, <clears throat> back in those days, it was like um, the building was up. So that was like headquarters of the BDs, you know what I'm saying? So then you had your BDs in Parkway. You had your BDs on Front Street, which is like 61st. Uh, in Indiana, Michigan, um, state that nobody really have. Like if you look Google this shit up, like one nobody on State Street. You know what I'm saying? So uh, <clears throat> the GDs had like 59th in state, um, like 58th in Michigan, and kind of like 59th in Michigan. That was like a borderline. Then you had GDs on on. Um, like 60th and Wabash, and then you had Front Street on 60th and Indiana, and then you had 600 on like 60th and Calumet and King Drive. So, like back in those days, uh, and on um, like 600 was like kind of like GDs too in the earlier, earlier, earlier days, but it always been a mixed crew. So, it's like, but they always, they always kind of like roll with the BDs. Like the times I can remember as I got older and like, <clears throat> really met, like, other people in the area. Because I didn't gang bang, so. When I grew up in Parkway, I was in Parkway, and I went to Front Street, and I was just visiting my grandma. And as I got older, I started walking around and venturing on my own. That's how I started meeting different people and doing all this other shit. So, um, it was a borderline. So, the borderline was that I can go to y'all store, y'all can come to my store. Even if I was shooting that child, that shit didn't matter, nigga. It's peace treaty, nigga. We gonna walk back, and but like if we fight or something, that's gonna start a street war. You know what I'm saying? Then the higher ups will talk to each other. You know what I'm saying? Like they got to a street fight. Like the higher ups will talk to um the other gang members, and then they'll decide like. Well, we going to war, or this going to happen, you know what I'm saying, or this and this and that. Whatever the case may be, they used to meet, the, the older heads used to meet up and shit. So if you want none of that, like, just shoot them up, bang, bang. Like, now in today's time, if you walking down the wrong block, it's like, ain't that such and such? It ain't no peace, it ain't never no peace tree. They going to hit you with the just, just up them bitches and get them, let them spray, you know what I'm saying? But back in those days, like, you'll get a pumpkin head, even if you got caught lacking. Like, even if you ain't no guns getting just up, like, you getting a straight pumpkin head. You getting your shit stumped, beat, you getting jumped, all that shit, you know what I'm saying? But, um, that was the only biggest difference when it was structured. You couldn't do nothing out of order. When your ass was gonna get got, cause, Back when it was structured, they were selling more drugs. Drugs was more of a thing. Now it's more of a killing. So, and my block clocking like 10,000 a week, and you got it hot over here. You got the police riding around, the police sitting on the block. You stopping the money. You know what I'm saying? And that's one thing they didn't want. So, when they went to war, they knew war was coming. Then, like, they just like, they had the hype to go to a different place. Or they might just set up shop at certain times where everybody got to be out there and be on S. When it was structured, like, they had security to where it was like you had to be out there. You know what I'm saying?
And it was on count. You had to do that type of shit. Ain't no count no more. Everybody do their own shit. That's why there's so many killings and so many innocent people being killed. I know y'all heard a lot of other people talk about, like, when kids get shot or a woman, older people, like, motherfuckers getting their shit beat and stumped or they got turned in, like, on some whole other shit. Like, you couldn't have that shit fuck up the operation. That's just how that shit go, man. Structure meant everything. Will structure ever come back? I don't think so. But, you know, for those who could have made destruction, they made destruction. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is.